What's up, Hammer Gang? Welcome back to Hammers Fans United. Um, I'm back as always with our um, the player ratings and my take on our 2 1 defeat to Manchester City. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get straight into the ratings and then, as always, yeah, I'll give my take on, on the performance but also, sort of, just generally how we're looking at this point of the season. So, the heading says. Lingard and Antonio impressed despite defeat. Right, Darren Randolph, not at fault for either goal and commanded his area well. An able deputy for Lucas Fabianski, he got six. Uh, Vladimir Sufal, kept Ferran Torres very quiet, had a tougher time against Phil Foden but was his usual solid self. Unable to get forward much but did well at the back, he got a seven. Issa Diop. Got beaten for pace easily by Kevin De Bruyne, but did not look out of place against a very talented City attack. He got six. Craig Dawson. Marshalled the defence well, as always. Threw himself in front of a number of shots and passed nicely out of defence when under City pressure. He got a six. Aaron Creswell. Is, very, is a very, very capable left centre-back, but could have provided Johnson with extra support at times. Set-piece delivery not quite up to his usual standard. He got a six. Oh, gosh. Ben Johnson, he came off after 84 minutes. A shaky start for the wing-back who was isolated and targeted by Man City with very little help from his teammates. Gave the ball away going forward and not tight enough on De Bruyne for City's opener. And suffered a similar fate as Mahrez took him on to set up John Stone's goal. He got a four. That's a joke. Uh, Declan Rice was a vocal presence encouraging his team on and alongside Socek blocked City from attacking through the centre of the park. Had little of the ball, but kept possession well when he did have it. He got a six. Thomas Socek. A tough afternoon against the City midfield. Did well to protect the middle of the pitch and broke forward when possible. Blocked a number of shots as City piled on the pressure. He also got a six. Pablo Fornells. Industrious performance from the Spaniard. Lots of instructions to stay on De Bruyne, which he did well. Involved in Antonio's goal and has proved he deserves to be in the starting eleven. He got a seven. Jesse Lingard worked half for the team, won the ball back high up the pitch and was heavily involved in the build-up to Antonio's goal. Another excellent performance from the 29-year-old. He got a 7. Mikhail Anton Antonio came off after 84 minutes. Scored 1, could have had 2 but did not let his miss get to him and kept making the runs to get the chances. Held the ball up well and linked with Lingard nicely. He got a 7. Subs. Side Ben Rama on 84, made little impact on the game. No rating. Jared Bowen on 84 was unable to see any of the ball in his 10 minutes on the pitch. No ratings. Rather than go through each player, I think that some of those those ratings is 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 completely way off the mark. Um Randolph in goal, he got six. I think that's right actually, because I think he could have done better with at least one of the goals. Diop and um Diop, Creswell and um, Dawson, they got a six. Now, maybe that's because we let in two goals. Supal, once again, he, he he had a really good game. He got a seven. I agree with you, seven. And maybe you would agree with their sixes because we did let in two goals, regardless of who he's playing against. Now, Ben Johnson getting a four is, is disgraceful. I, I don't, I definitely don't agree with that. Um, th Their first goal is, is, is fine, fine margins. And... He could have, could he have if blocked the cross? Maybe, but maybe uh, it's literally they they are that good. It was pinpoint. Um, what they didn't mention is 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 Diop's part in in the first goal. And like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not here, not in this game. I'm not here to like throw any sort of criticism like that. It just it's just that team will punish you for things that you would get away with with, I would say, ninety percent of the teams in the Premier League. No, so he literally he peeled off him at the back uh, and, and scored a, a good header, which Randolph maybe could have saved. But yeah, like like I said, it's it's small margin. But I I don't think Johnson was at fault for that first goal, not at all. But to get a four against Man City is is I, I think that's that's a joke. That's that's a poor poor rating. And um, also Rice and and Supercheck. I I believe that they had a fantastic game, man. Like I really believe. I think Declan Rice looked like, for the type of midfielder he is, for me he looked the best in that position on the pitch, as a, as a defensive or deep line midfielder. He looked fantastic and and he played fantastic. So, uh, Super check as well. Them two done really well. So I I think that they should have got 
at least a, no, not at least. I think they should have got a seven rather than a six. Um, for Nels Lingard and Antonio seven, definitely warranted. Now, I'm going to move on. I'm going to. The reason why I say it is, if you look at David Moyes' reaction after the game, he was sort of, he was upbeat. He was smiling. I've seen him scowling and and he's angry when we've won games. So for him, someone like him, to of course, you don't want to lose and he's not happy with, oh, it's only by one. No, that's not. We put in a good performance. So his uh, mannerisms straight after the game, I think, reflected our performance. And and for that reason, you can't give Ben Johnson a four. And, and Rice and Suche is, is definitely, for me, is a seven. We played well. Um, and like I said, David Moyes, that's, I, he was, he looked almost happy after the game. And like I said, he's not one of these people that's, Happy in defeat. I just think he 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 said, you know what, Man City. I think that's. I don't know how many wins in a row. I know it's twenty games undefeated. I don't know how many wins in a row, but they're like an unstoppable machine at the minute. And and we kind of went. I won't say toe to toe, but in a minute I'm gonna go back to the the, the key stats, and we did go toe to toe with them. Um, so yeah, I'll say it again. David Moyes wasn't um, angry. He wasn't um, upset. He didn't dig out anybody for the goals. And he didn't dig out um, Diop, who, who on another day would have scored right at the end. Uh, it's football. So the fact that David Moyes didn't sort of even like, you know, indirectly dig out anybody. He didn't do that, man. It was a good, good team performance. So, um, yeah, I'm not happy with, with some of those ratings. But like I said, I just go to the same source rather than changing it. And, yeah, I'm glad to see they gave 4 nails a 7 because he was, he was fantastic as well. But generally, the whole team was fantastic. Um let me go to the stats that I was talking about. Right, so as you can see on the screen, the possession is as we would expect. So that's not important. But what you can see is goal attempts. They had 10, we had 9. This, bear in mind, this is a way to Manchester City. Shots on goal, they had 3, we had 3. Shots off goal, they had 2, we had 4. Uh, block shots, you can see there. Free kicks, corners. So you can see on the screen, like the, the key... Uh, stats for me would be the attempts on goal, well, the attempts, the attempts on goal and the attempts off goal. And you can see, like, yeah, we was evenly matched there. So, right. So, like I said, the, the key stats in that game, we actually went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. They had a lot of the ball, but like I said, that is expected. If anybody was expecting anything different, then <laughs> I don't know what planet you're on. We knew that was going to happen. So, the fact that when we did get the ball, we done a lot with it speaks volume. So, I really wish we got that goal at the end, man. I really do. And, you know, like, I think we deserved it. I des We deserved it because um, their squad compared to ours and the money they've spent and the players they've got on the bench, for us to get a draw would have been a massive, massive, massive result. And obviously, we've already drawn with them this season. Um, but they are in red-hot form. So even that performance was made me proud, man. It made me proud. Um, when we played Spurs, obviously, I, I, that's the only game that I've, sort of feel myself watching and there was times in that game where I was, I was getting angry and a lot City it wasn't like that at all it wasn't like that I wasn't like angry and, and someone's not pulling their weight and none of that um I've said it before a football season is not based off of one game so if you look in retrospect if someone would have said to us at before the Spurs game look Spurs are going to have Harry Kane's going to have a lot of chances that normally he would take um Attacking wise, Spurs are, go are going to be at it. If someone would have said to us a draw against Spurs and a draw away to City, I think we would have taken that. I really do think we would have taken that. So the fact that we've got three points off of Spurs and nothing off City, it don't really matter. It doesn't matter. We, we the three points against Spurs was crucial, and that kind of was gave us a free swing against City. That's the way I'm looking at it anyway. That we kind of got a point and a half from each game. Would we have taken that before the Spurs? Yeah, of course we would have done. So we are kind of a bit disappointed that we didn't get a point against City, which just tells you how far we've come. Um, right, I'm going to go to the league table and then I'm going to wrap this up. So we are clearly still fourth, which is amazing. Uh, Man United are five points above us, Leicester four points. Now Chelsea is, is right on our tail, they're a point behind us. Liverpool winning. Obviously we wanted them to lose, but... You know, and Everton, if they win their two games in hand, they would go above us. It's tight. It's it's tight behind us. And um, Aston Villa beating 
Leeds means that if they win their two games and then they'll be level with us. But obviously, everybody's got to play everyone. So you never know. But we are still in... I don't know whether seventh gets Europa League or not. I'm not sure. But we're still in the mix. And that's credit to everybody at the club. And we've got a nine-day break now. So I'm hoping that um, Fabianski is back. I don't know the status of Ogbonna's injury. I might do a video, which I don't normally do, just speaking about sort of uh, the news as it comes out. But I don't, yeah, I don't really do that. But because we are, we're not playing for nine days, I may well do that. Um, and Masuaku, I can't wait to get him back. Like, when we have players missing, clearly it affects us because if you look at our bench, and like we, we don't have that depth. And other teams... You know, like these big teams, it, it kind of, yeah, they miss them internally. But, you know, externally, it, it doesn't really affect them and all the teams that they're playing against. So, for instance, if Chelsea have got five players out and they're playing against West Brom, Chelsea is probably still going to win that game because of, of the, the, the depth that they have in their squad. We don't have that. Not yet. Um, so, yeah, I think, I'm hoping I've covered everything. Uh, West Ham, like I said, proud, proud of them, man. And... We're just unlucky we didn't get it. Right at the end, we could have we could have got a draw. And I wouldn't have said we nicked a draw. I'd have said, you know, we earned a draw. Didn't happen. Don't matter. Uh, Leeds is the next game. Leeds on their day is a very good team. Uh, so, yeah, I just hope that we put in that same performance. And I'm glad that Moyes went. He didn't go defensive. Yeah, naturally, you're, you're going to have less of the ball. So you are going to be looking like you're... Def but no, he when we, we when we could attack, we did. And I loved the, the way he approached that game. Um, any dreams, any goals, any aspirations in life, make sure you stay on track. Make sure you focus on your goals. Make sure no one deter you. Nobody's in your ear and swaying your thoughts. And by that, I mean, don't let no one burst your bubble. Uh, thank you all for your support. Um, I'm going to put out another video anyway, so I'll, I'll touch more on, on how I appreciate you guys. But yeah, um, Leeds in eight days now, actually. Must be, yeah. But yeah, thanks for everything, everyone. Uh, well done, boys. Well done, West Ham. Um, great performance. Come on, you irons.